Welcome back to the Sports Show. I'm shuffling paper here, mate, as yeah, the, uh, the boss is saying, yeah. get ready, you're on. So, uh, <laughs> mate, I want to <laughs> I want to talk to you about the SANFL, but I had an Olympic thing I wanted to talk to you about. It was about weightlifting, Olympic yeah. moments. For some, you know, I, I love the gold medals and I love the yeah. winners. I get into all of that and, and the heartbreak, you know, that we yeah. see the soccer girls go through the, the other night and, and, and all that. Yeah. I get all that. But every now and then there's a, a moment or there's a couple of things that happen in the Olympics that sometimes you hear about, sometimes you don't. Yeah. This one grabbed my attention. It, it was just a headline grab. So we're talking about the women's weightlifting. Mm. So the 87 plus kilo class women's weightlifting. Mm -hmm. Now it gets won by a Chinese lass, and we'll come to her in a minute. But all the talk was, of course, was about New Zealand's Laurel Hubbard going in as the uh, first yes. transgender, transgender yeah. female women at the games. And so yeah. there was huge publicity and there was a lot of trash on social media having a go at her yeah. and all this kind of stuff. So just the lead up to that event happening, mm. There were more media at this event mm. than have been at any other event. Oh, really? And yeah. they overshot the media by 300. So mm. there were more people than they allowed to go in yeah. than were supposed to. Yeah. This is how much media wanted to be in there. Now, it wasn't about you know it being a great event. Obviously, it's all going to be directed about the transgender yeah. female and what goes on. Now, unfortunately, yeah. uh, and Lauren had to, whether you think she should have been there or shouldn't, mm. she had to pass a pretty strict... As pretty, strict set of policies that was set down and they were determined by the IOC. So it wasn't like you can just get in here. Yeah. Then the weightlifting, which she was competing in, set up their rules as well. So she had to pass both of those sets of rules to get in. Yeah. So I think I just bear that in mind. Yeah. So Hubbard finishes last, unfortunately, yeah. and her three lifts, she, she didn't make it. And, and that, that was in the snatch and she didn't yeah. get in. So she finishes last. Yeah. Now when she's eliminated, over a third of the media leave the room. Gone. Yeah. So you don't get to sit there and see the Chinese 21-year-old girl, mm. uh, Lee Win Win, yeah. who, phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. She was amazing. Yeah. So she lifted a total of 320 kilos. So they do, they do the snatch, she was at 140. Then they got the clean and jerk at 180. Mm. The girls that finished second and third were 283 and 282. Mm. So it was a phenomenal lift. My point, and I know it's a long-winded that I'm yeah. coming to you with, is that for the media to turn up, you would think we're there to report on the event. Yeah. They're not. And the winner. They're yeah. there to talk about the transgender. transgender. Yeah. So they actually were disappointed that she didn't win it because yeah. that yeah. doesn't give them any ink. Nothing. Then they're disappointed that she doesn't do well. And when she does, she handles herself very well. Mm. Uh, her quote coming out was, um, she said, I'd like to thank the packed media room. Thank you so much for your interest in my non-performance. Mm. Yeah. What a great... A fair you know, line, and then yeah. she put her arms across and and went out like that showing, you know, I give my heart to the crowd that supported yeah. me. Yeah. And you think, she's gone through a hell of a lot yeah. to get there, right or wrong, depending on where you sit on the fence. Yeah. And But my point is, I, I'm disappointed that the media would then walk away without supporting the, the gold medal, yeah. silver medal, and the other yeah. competitors. Yeah. Well, where's it going wrong with the no, media? No, that, that's true. That, that, well, it's not a story. It's, it'll be, they would only be looking now at the story if the Chinese swimmer tests positive for... Yeah, the weightlifter tests that, positive. Then they'll come yeah. flying back in again. Because yeah. that's disappointing. I didn't know that, but no. that's disappointing. And yeah. would be, I, didn't, I don't know who won silver either, but it would be very disappointing for them to see the media walking out. Yep. Uh, on them, uh, you know that, that that's well, typical media though. That even for Lee, we won. Who who won it? Who yeah. wins gold? She stands up there, twenty-one year old kid, a phenomenal lift. Yeah, and, and nothing. A third of the media are walking out on it. Yeah, you go. And she, by the way, half the crowd that was there, she bought her own crowd, yeah. and they were interacting with her. It was a fantastic atmosphere. So yeah. well done by her. Yeah, and uh, her coach. Uh, it was a famous weightlifter in China in, in a different division, yeah. and she got him up on the stage up with him. Oh, okay. So it was a, yeah. it just had a nice story to it. With yeah. everything that was going yeah. around it, yeah. you know that 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 Hubbard handled herself really well. Yeah. Chinese girl was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, we lost all of that yeah. it, by a third of the media. Uh, well, we didn't lose it. Some of it got reported, but a third of the media walk out because yeah. there's no saucy story. Yeah. You go disappointing. Hey, mate, that's, that's we'll move on. Good. But well, I want to I want to touch yep. on one other thing with the Olympics while we're talking about the Olympics. So it was yep. a really sad day yesterday for me, uh, watching the Olympics and last night to see the hockey ruse. Uh, get oh, a couple done. of nights ago, no, a couple of nights ago, by India. Yep, uh, one and, nil. Yeah, yep. yeah, and we didn't play well. We not our best. And then the Matildas <sighs> getting knocked off uh, one nil by Sweden. Uh, last night. Oh, that, yes, for the soccer and the goal was, not allowed. Well, yep. not yet. well yep. yeah, Sam yes. Kerr's goal. Yep. Which would, any other game, anywhere else in the world, bang, it's, it's a goal. 
Uh, it, but just disappointing to see those two teams yeah. um, miss out because I agree. They're, with you. they're two of my favourite teams. Yeah. Hockey Roos, I've always been a big fan of. Yep. And the Matildas were the reason why AFLW is played today. Yes. It's because they are on the world stage so and they're it's a damn good side. Process. Yep. And they're a very good side. And the other thing is, mate, while I'm on the Olympics, and um, was uh, I, I like many other Australians are rooting for and heavily for the Opals and the Boomers. Yes, well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, mate, because uh, <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I know. But there's been some great moments. And, and, there's been some great you moments. Know, one really good quote that I saw from a guy who was yep. complaining about the lockdown. Yes. Complaining bitterly about lockdown. He said that all he's got to, to do is watch the Olympics, the Euro finals, the international cricket, <laughs> AFL, NRL. <laughs> so the reason he doesn't like the lockdown is he's not a sports buff. So <laughs> he, he was being sarcastic, obviously. Yeah. He was saying, hey, lock me down again. L lock well, me down. Larry. Can yeah. you ring my boss? Can I get another oh, couple of weeks brilliant. off? Yeah, hey, mate, brilliant. I want to ask you about the SANFL yep. quickly because they had to suspend for two weeks. They've decided that they'll extend their season two more weeks. Okay. And so their final series won't start until September 11 now. Okay. The grand final will be on the long weekend of October, October the 3rd. So yeah. really smart decision by them on a yeah. Sunday, long weekend, yeah. get the crowds in. So pretty good. If we look at the ladder right now, Glenelg and the Eagles, Glenelg are 14 and zip. The yeah. Eagles are 10 and 4. So they're comfortable in, in one and two. Then you've got North in third, South in fourth, Norwood in fifth. All three are eight and six. Yeah. So, luckily, it's a top five this year, not a top four, because yeah. one of those have to miss yeah. out. So, yeah. I want to ask you this. See if we can and predict. We know this is dangerous. North Adelaide at eight and six plays South. Yeah. A win or a loss? Close one. They'll win it. Win it? Okay, yeah. we'll give them the W. Then they play Norwood. Another close one. Cool. Dude, that's tough. What are you going to give them? Uh, I'll give them a... Win. A win on that one? All mm -hmm. right. Then they've got Sturt. I'll win that. A win. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Okay. South Adelaide sitting yeah. in fourth. Now, this is all percentage at the sure, moment sure. for these three. Yeah. Eight and six. South play North Adelaide. Yeah, we're, we're So you've we're given them a loss the ball, for that. Didn't we? Yep. Port Adelaide. Loss. A loss. <laughs> all right. Daddy Westies. Will shoot me. Westies. Well, oh, that's a win. All right. That's a win. Yeah. All right. Then you've got Norwood. Yeah. At the moment, they sit in. So they could be anywhere, really. Yeah, three, yeah, four, yeah. five. Yeah. All right. They're at eight and six. They play West. A win. That gets them a win. Then they play North. You gave them the loss. Yeah. Then they play Adelaide. No, would be Adelaide. No, that'll be a, that'll be a win. That'll be a win. Yeah. All right. Now, just underneath them, at seven yeah. and seven is Port Adelaide. Yeah. All right. So yeah. they play Sturt. Don't know where, but uh, Sturt beat them last time. So you're going to give them a loss. Yeah. All right. That that'll put them out of it. South. They beat South. They always do. All right. Glenelg. Loss. Oh, they'll thrash Glenelg. Right. Okay. Depends <laughs> on many, how many <laughs> AFL listed players Glenelg's got. <laughs> so in the end, what, what we're saying, based on I reckon not too far off the mark, and we, yeah. again, there's always surprises, mm. but the top five for the SNFL will pretty much go the way it is right now. Yeah. So based on what you said, North sit in third spot, yeah. with the teams left to play, they'll get three wins. Yeah. So that'll keep them there. Mm. South Adelaide sit in fourth spot, they'll get two wins, so that sits them where they are, yeah. and Norwood you've given uh, two wins to, but percentage lets South sit above, unless there's a yeah. big yeah. run in those games. Yeah. So... Port have done pretty well. They're just going to miss out. And Sturt have had a pretty decent year. Yeah, they have. You know, so yeah, they have. The, the other thing is, too, Port will get a few players back. Given that the yes. AFL team is getting a heap of players back, Yep. so will the Magpies. All right. And they'll give uh, other teams something to whinge about. That, you know, they're getting a few AFL blokes back. All right. Now, mate, just in closing, <laughs> the, the Olympic Games are, are, are wrapped up. Uh, or about to wrap up. Uh, we haven't got all the information that we need. Yeah. Has there been a moment through these Olympics or in previous Olympics for you that still sit with you and go, oh, that was still my greatest Olympic moment? Or have you yeah. seen one in this that surpassed a previous Olympic no, moment? No, my greatest you? Olympic is still the 1500 metre swim by... Kieran Perkins, Atlanta. Kieran Perkins in Atlanta. Yes. That is still my... I think that's yep. still my greatest moment. Qualifies in lane eight, the slowest yeah. time, only just. It was one of the most yes. incredible wins. Yep. And uh, and made you, made you proud. Made, made you feel like... Yep. You know, proud to be an Aussie. And go and cop that. Because yep. that was just... Most people had written him off. Typical Australian. In fact, he'd written himself off. He yeah, didn't actually... If you yeah. speak to Kieran later on, he didn't actually want to qualify. Uh, he, he thought, I don't want to even be in this final. Uh, yeah. Then he gets in it and his decision <laughs> is... And I've spoken to him about it. It's been yeah. a really interesting conversation yeah. 
how you turn around from I, I don't actually want to get in here because I'm not swimming as well as I want to, yeah. to I'm in lane eight, which is the worst lane worst to be lane. in. Yep. Yep. He said he's lying on the massage table that night and he's thinking, I can win this. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I'm going to swim as fast as I can yeah. for as long as I can. Yeah, sure so you know all the thought and all the training his coaches have That's done right. with him over the years, yeah. mate, when you, you know, on the fifth lap start yeah. to pick up your rhythm a little bit, the tenth lap get yeah. going a little bit, he's gone, nah, I'm just yeah. going as hard as yeah, I can yeah. for as long as I can. Yeah. Trouble is, it didn't work out that he, he could... He didn't have anything left in the tank when he got to the end, but he'd gone didn't hard for the whole 1,500. <laughs> so you go, it's a great story. It to. is a great story. The other, the other thing I really, really enjoyed about this Olympics was Ian Thorpe's commentary. He was brilliant. No, that was absolutely that was well, yep. man, well done by know. Channel 7. A good recruit. That, he the, was the, one of the, the best. The big race between the American yep. and the, the Aussie yep. uh, girls. The way he called that, the yep. way he called it before the race as to what will happen exactly happened. Yep. It was it was unbelievable. I thought, wow, yep. that's a comp. Yeah, that's I, great I've commentary. enjoyed Thorpey's and commentary. And he wasn't over the top. Yeah. In all of them, though, you know, he'll say, Brilliant. you can just see he or she's just starting to change their stroke now and yeah. a little bit late getting at the end there. They Brilliant. need to, need to Brilliant. get too far under the water and their kicks yeah. are starting to figure out. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 we all watch the swimming because we're so successful at it. But, uh, yeah. you know, he, he did a great job. Was there anyone that annoyed you? Who annoyed me? Yes, Novak. Novak Jokovic. No back in You don't me like again. Novak. Well, he you just... annoyed me again. He <laughs> talked to me. I mean, he, he did his lolly again by beaten by somebody, and of course he's got a sore shoulder and a sore knee, and he might not be. Oh, I'm going get off the court, mate. Get get off the court. No one likes you. Go away. You know, mate. Come on. Even these people that defend him all the time, if they see that, surely they can't go. Well, that was you know he's got a sore. No, he hasn't. He never saw a shoulder when he started the match. Yeah, I saw the shoulder when he got yep. beat. There's no credit to, to the bloke that beat him, which always irks me yeah, about yes. people. Yep. The guy that beat him has probably played the match of his life yep. and deserves all the credit he gets, but he gets nothing. No, I couldn't agree with you more, mate. Chris Fagan's, uh, just on that, Chris Fagan's saying the same thing about uh, Clarko. Oh, yeah. you know, they were better on us. Uh, you know, they played better footy. Bingo. He could have easily gone, mate. We've got five blokes that are injured. Exactly, so it mate. does resonate exactly that way. Exactly right. All right, yeah. time for us to go. I hope you've enjoyed the show, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the Olympic Games. We certainly have. We'll be back next week talking SA Sport.